I've tested the Hyundai Santa Fe many times before, but now there's some significant changes for 2017. What are those changes? And will I be impressed? Let's find out. The first change you can notice is on the side. It's the new 18 inch wheels. More noticeable is the all new grille and bumpers and lights up front. There's also a new bumper out back too. All in all, it's a nice, modern, pleasing shape that fits in well with the other current model lineup of Hyundais. Not much has changed inside, but they have made room for a larger 7-inch monitor. Everything is very straightforward and easy to use inside the Hyundai Santa Fe. You've got a deep storage armrest here with a tray. Very nice. Two cup holders. The 6-speed automatic transmission remains. Heated and cooled. Seats, very nice. Electronic parking brake an all-around video view monitor. That's definitely a nice touch, great for safety. Very comfortable and supportive seats here. Nice padding on the headrests. Excellent panoramic sunroof there. And I really like the materials and I like the choice of colors here too. But you've got nice leather, you've got this alternate brown color and some chrome and this beautiful wood along the dash also over here. It looks great. More storage down here with two chargers. They have really thought of everything in terms of technology integration and therefore I give it a very strong score in my Drive and Ivan technology integration and uh, that is a nine and a half. Pretty perfect. I like the way the Korean manufacturers study the other manufacturers and see what works and then they incorporate it into their own. But just a very nice, luxurious, and tech-savvy interior. Out and back, the great design continues. You've got two captain's chairs back here, and plenty of cup holders, magazine rack as well. Storage down here too. Pop open the trunk, and you can see that you could have two more seats, making a total of six. In this case, I'm using this side for storage and this side for a seat. So very versatile, a great design here and uh, plenty of room for people or cargo. Powering the Santa Fe is a 3.3 liter V6. It makes 290 horsepower, produces 252 pound-feet of torque. That's good for a 0 to 60 time of 7.1 seconds onto a top speed of 128 miles per hour. It's made it to a six speed automatic transmission and you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Fuel economy is rated at 17 miles per gallon in the city, 23 miles per gallon on the highway, and you can expect 20 miles per gallon overall. In terms of pricing, the Hyundai Santa Fe Ultimate Limited starts out at $39,400. Now that's without all-wheel drive. That's a $1,750 option. The $2,100 Ultimate Tech Package includes smart cruise control with stop-start, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, electronic parking brake, high-intensity discharge HID headlights, dynamic bending light, high beam assist. You get the $180 cargo package with cargo tray, cargo net, and first aid kit. The $150 carpeted floor mats, the $190 cargo cover, $120 mud guards, the $70 rear bumper applique, and the $55 wheel locks. So with all that, you're out the dealer door at $43,160. Not cheap, certainly. There's competition in the up to seven passenger SUV market with cars like the Honda Pilot, the Toyota Highlander, GMC Acadia. You can look for my reviews of those elsewhere on YouTube but you do get a heck of a lot in this Santa Fe Ultimate Limited. It's totally loaded with all the safety, all the tech, plenty of luxury, and in this case, seating for up to six. So that's very nice. New for 2017 in the Hyundai Santa Fe is choices. That's right. You used to have two trim levels. Now you have four trim levels and you can choose between six or seven passengers. You can choose between all wheel drive or not. It also has a new look up front and out back, new headlights, new grill. You also get new wheels. So it looks fresh and updated and more like other Hyundais of the current variety. 
There's also, of course, lots of tech and safety integration. You have that integration going for your Droid or your iPhone. You also get adaptive cruise control, autonomous braking, cross traffic, you name it. This one has it for safety. So you've got the latest in safety and you also get three driving modes, normal, sport, and eco which you can really feel the difference when you're driving. And inside you get a larger seven inch monitor, which is really nice to have. You've got a nice high seating position, lets you see everything around you. That's very nice. As I was saying earlier, you get three drive modes, normal, eco, and sport. I'm gonna put it in the sport mode right now. And you can actually shift it yourself right here. Just move it on over and then you're shifting yourself. front wheel drive but you do have available all wheel drive and uh, plenty of power nice loud grunt from the engine and uh, handles pretty well more than you'd expect from an SUV with a high center of gravity and uh, you'll have no problem getting on the traffic or passing other cars should you need to now this one doesn't come with all wheel drive but it still does come with nice ground clearance so you can make it over obstacles and uh, it is after all an SUV but if you want the all-wheel drive you can get it for 1750 extra the night look on the Santa Fe here is really quite elegant I really like the kind of light blue glow of these colors and uh, it's very easy to see and as I said I just think it looks elegant and luxurious really a great night look blind spot monitoring the light lights up if you were to put your turn signal on it would let you know there's a car over there I've got the laser cruise control on you can see it right here you can set the following distance with this button right here I like the indicator there makes it very easy to read and so there you go traffic is stopped in front of me and it's gonna stop me too. See that? I didn't do a thing. Gotta love the adaptive cruise control. Amazing. Now I just press the gas and then it'll go ahead and speed me back up. You could drive from Maine to Florida like this if you could keep fuel in the tank. It's really an impressive not just safety feature but it's also quite luxurious not to have to use your feet and your legs all the time very very comforting cross traffic monitoring really really a great feature and I like the display of it here really works well and on top of that you also have the around view monitor here tells you which way it's going that is really an incredible safety feature very well executed so in the end variety is a spice of life and I think choice is too and this Santa Fe gives you a lot of ways to go ahead and fit it out for your own needs customization that's great it also offers a brand new look and it offers great safety and great tech and luxury too if you're in the market for an SUV you should definitely check out the Santa Fe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Driving Ivan.